Hey y'all, it's Sabrina. So today I'm gonna be doing six pros and cons of working a ski season at a ski resort. Now, of course, all ski resorts themselves are super different. So things are gonna vary depending on what resort you're going to, what state it's in, or even what country it's in. So I'm gonna do my best to try to keep this general. However, please note this is based off my personal experience working at a ski resort during a ski season in the United States. I'm gonna to touch on six different topics and discuss the pros and the cons of that subject as it relates to working a ski season. As always, there are timestamps down below, so let's get started. Number one is lifestyle. So on the pro side, the lifestyle of a worker at a ski resort is super laid back. It's definitely for those of you who have a type B personality. And it's definitely a place that's geared toward more of the laid back lifestyle, here to have fun and here for a good time type of person. You have people coming from all over the states and lots of different countries, and they're there to ski, to relax, to hang back. They don't take the job too seriously. Going off of that, my ski season was just a little bit different in the fact that it was during COVID. So we were not able to be super sociable and the fact that we'd be able to go hang out in each other's rooms to play video games or just kick back and hang out or go anywhere with large gatherings or any of that type of stuff. However, my coworkers who have done past ski seasons at the resort did tell me that normally it can be seen as party central. So if you're looking to hang out, party, just there for a good time, this is definitely the place for you. Now on the con side, if you are more of a type A personality, that can be very frustrating because for the most part, and this isn't everybody, but the majority of people, like I said, they're there to ski and they're there to relax and they're kind of there for the experience and the good time. You may not feel like you're gonna be able to thrive in this environment. And if you're living on property, I will say that people stay up late, they hang out, they party, and that can get kind of frustrating if you're trying to sleep because you have an early work day tomorrow. Of course, that's not to say you can't do both and balance it out, but I will say that the lifestyle is definitely geared more to people with a type B personality. Okay, number two, this is an obvious one. Everyone's gonna talk about it, but you get a free ski pass. If one of the reasons you were going to work at a ski resort is to learn how to ski or snowboard, this is a huge pro for you. You're not paying hundreds of dollars each day to fall down the hill constantly as you're learning to ski or to snowboard. You have lots of time to do it. You have a lot of people there to help work you through it and you have time to progress without spending a ton of money. Now, of course, if you already love skiing or snowboarding, then you get to ski the whole season for free. And depending how your resort works, you may be able to get free passes for friends and family or free tickets for friends and family. Going off the free ski that you have, depending on what your job is, you may get what's called a ride break. This means taking an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, to just go hit the slopes during your work day. It also guarantees that at some point you will be able to use it and you'll be able to ski on your days off or maybe before or after work, depending on how your schedule is. I do know a lot of people who worked night shifts, so they skied all day and they went to work in the evenings and it worked out great for them. And since you're there for five to seven months, depending on your contract, that's a lot of ski time that you are not paying for. These days, no matter what resort you're going to, ticket prices are high and season passes are even more expensive. Now on the con side of that, which kind of does sound funny because it's a free ski pass, how are you gonna have cons to that side? Well. If you are somebody who isn't gonna use your ski pass because you don't care to ski, you don't know how to ski, or you don't want to ski, it may not be worth it to you. You have to remember that if you're working at a ski resort, you're not getting paid a ton of money, most likely. And one of the biggest perks that helps balance out that paycheck is the free ski pass that you get. Now, if you're somebody who's definitely gonna use their ski pass and doesn't have proper equipment, it's a good chunk of change to either buy your own equipment if you're gonna use it enough or continuously rent equipment in order to use your ski pass. Now, depending on how your employee perks work, you may get free rental equipment and this may not even apply to you. However, odds are you'll probably get a discount off rental equipment. And at the end of that six month contract, you've put in a lot of money in order to ski, maybe even the equivalent of what a season pass would be. Number three is the job itself. Now, when you work at a ski resort, there are multiple jobs available to you. This means you have a wide range to pick from when figuring out what you wanna do. This could be anything from teaching ski lessons to taking tickets or working in the hotels or restaurants. So the fact that there are so many different jobs to choose from gives you a chance to find a job that you'll like or one that you already have the skills necessary to perform. With that, there are so many cool jobs there as well. So if you're somebody who wants to be on the slopes all the time, you could be ski patrol, you could teach skiing. And because working at a ski resort is a seasonal job, they have very high turnover rates. So odds are they are always hiring for the job that you are looking to perform. And with them getting new staff year after year, if you're not having such a good time your first year and you decide to go back a second year, it's gonna be completely different to you. You're gonna have different coworkers. Odds are you're gonna have brand new managers, brand new staff. So with the work staff and positions constantly changing, you can look forward to meeting and working with new people year after year. Sticking with this topic, but focusing more on the workplace itself, I already mentioned how laid back working at a resort is. That's completely true, even for the job. 
job. I'll even say that I had friends in other departments. Some people just wouldn't show up for work and nobody really cared. Maybe that was just my specific resort, the managers or the department itself. And I'm not saying, hey, take this job because you can goof off and not get much done. What I'm basically saying is it's not a strict environment. It's a very relaxed workplace. The majority of people who work at a ski resort, first and foremost, they are here to ski. If you're somebody who doesn't like to take on stressful jobs, this is a nice place to kind of perform your work tasks at your own pace. Now for the con side of the job. I did not make it through my entire ski season. I ended up quitting because of the job itself. I did choose a job that I thought I was going to love. I love the people that I worked with. My supervisor was great. However, I had that job where guests would yell at me all day every day for things that I couldn't control like COVID rules or ticket prices. And at the end of the day, I had to choose what was best for me. Every season is different and I believe that if I wasn't working a COVID season, the job itself would have been completely different and I think I would have greatly enjoyed it. I can say that communication between departments can be very frustrating and because things are changing so fast, you're not always told what's going on right away. Also, because of the laid back atmosphere, if you're somebody who has a let's get this done mentality, a lot of people have a that's not really my job mentality or an I don't really wanna deal with this mentality. And I get it, I do first and foremost, People do take ski season jobs because they want to ski. But for those of you who do want to get specific jobs done and are looking for a very organized and coordinated work environment, you may not necessarily find that at a ski resort. Again, depending on the specific job that you are taking. Number four attached to the job itself, let's talk about money. On the pro side, if you are somebody whose job includes tips, like a waitress or a housekeeper, you can make a lot of money. Also, depending on what job specifically you have, you could earn a high wage paycheck. So if you're looking to save money by working a ski season, it's definitely possible. Just look into the different types of jobs that either tip really well or where your hourly wage is higher. Now a con to the money side is that a majority of jobs, you're not gonna make a lot of money. Some will even pay below minimum wage. Of course, a lot of people look at the low paycheck and offset that with the free ski pass they get because that is so expensive. Regardless, your paycheck probably won't be that big. If you want a comparison or an example, I can tell you that at my job at the resort, I was making $12 or $12.25 an hour. And after the taxes they took out and the $300 that we put in each month for rent, we were definitely making well below minimum wage. And if you are going to do activities in town or go out to eat, even with your employee discount at the resort restaurants, it's still pretty pricey. You are in a resort town. So at the end of the day, you may be spending more than you initially thought you would. And if you're someone who's not gonna go out to eat and you wanna cook for yourself, grocery prices are also going to be a little bit higher than you're most likely used to, again, because you're in a resort town. So it's up to you to decide if what you're getting paid is worth it for the experience that you're getting, or if you can afford to do this experience depending on how much you are being paid. Number five is the resort perks. So a huge pro of this is that people spend a lot of money to go stay at a ski resort just for a few days, and you're basically getting to do it for free. And I'm not just referring to the free ski pass that I already mentioned. As an employee, you're most likely gonna get a discount on the restaurants and the gift shops around the resort, and you may get a discount or may be able to do the activities themselves for free. That means free or discounted snowshoeing tours or dog sledding. You'll probably get a discount on the hotels as well. And since you're already there for the entire season, you're really gonna get to know the resort. You're gonna get to try all the different foods, find the places that you really like, and you'll get to know and use all the different tips and the tricks that the guests love and experience. But again, you're not paying money for that experience. Of course, the con of that would be even with your employee discount, it still may be pricey and you still may end up paying a lot of money. You also may learn that there's not a ton to do at your resort, especially if you're out in the boondocks and you're not really close to a town. Besides skiing and working, you may end up being super bored. And I can tell you, I spent so much of my free time on Netflix. Number six is one I think is very underrated, but it's the location. Regardless of what resort you are working at, you're going to be living or working up in the mountains and it is absolutely beautiful. You have trails right in your backyard and odds are you're going to be seeing some really cool wild animals. That can mean anything from moose and bear or deer or mountain goats. I will tell you on a daily basis, I saw tons of deer and we saw bighorn sheep several times a week. And I don't mean just out in the distance. I mean along the roads as we were driving by. Odds are you'll be away from the town. So at night you have a clear sky and the stars are absolutely beautiful. And I bet that your sunrises and sunsets will be just as beautiful as well. If you're an outdoor lover or love small towns, it's definitely a great place to be. The con side of location is if you're not much of a mountains or outdoor person, this may not be the place for you. A good amount of ski resorts are far away from towns. This means long car rides into civilization if you want to spend less on groceries or if you need something from the store. And as I mentioned in my last topic, there's not a ton to do if you're not skiing or working. And I say that even if you are an outdoor person because the trails themselves, if you don't have snowshoes, you may not be able to hike up them. They're covered in snow. And the summer activities that you do in the mountains, like canoeing, rafting, horseback riding, may not be accessible 
to you because it is winter time. And I'm gonna wrap up this con section with a super obvious one, but it is freezing. If you're not a fan of the cold, you can definitely still do a job on the slopes. Just pick an indoor one. Obviously you're outside, it's snowing and it's winter. So that wraps up my video for today. Hopefully I was able to give you some good information that maybe you haven't thought about or need to think about just a little bit more. If you've worked a ski season before and you agree or disagree with any of the points I said, or if I forgot something you'd like to mention, please put it down in the comments below. If you're applying for, heading out to, or currently working a ski season, good luck. I hope you have a fantastic contract. And until next time, I hope this helps.